In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate Paid Memberships Pro with WP Courseware. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is go over to our plugins area and quickly just show which plugins I actually have installed. So you'll notice I've got Paid Memberships Pro, latest version. I also have WP Courseware, latest version. And I also have the WP Courseware Paid Memberships Pro add-on. These are the plugins that are required in order for you to assign courses to membership levels with Paid Memberships Pro. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go down to Memberships, Membership Levels. And I just want to show that I've already created uh, three membership levels and I've also set the price point for these three. Okay, so now what we want to do is quickly go over to Training Courses and as you can see, I've got four training courses set up. Okay, so now that we have membership levels and training courses created, the next thing we want to do is connect the two. So if we scroll down, you'll notice we have an option here, Paid Memberships Pro. This option will only be enabled when you install Paid Memberships Pro add-on for WP Courseware. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that. You'll notice that we've got several columns here of information. Uh, the first, or the second column here is uh, level name. So these are the actual levels that we've created with Paid Membership Pro. And this column here shows which courses are available to assign to the membership level. So for instance, here, Course A is assigned to Level A. Okay, so let's go ahead and demonstrate how to assign a course to a level. So let's go ahead and just pick on level B here. And you'll notice in here, we've got the option to select multiple courses that we want to assign to level B. So once you select your courses, you just click Save Changes. Now you'll notice there is a second option here. Do you want to retroactively assign these courses to current customers? I will get to this option at a later point in this video. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and just leave it as is. So we're gonna just leave it at as course B. And we'll just go ahead and click Save Changes, and we'll go back. Okay, so now you see Course A is assigned to Level A, Course B to Level B, and Course C to Level C. Okay, so now we've got courses that are connected to uh, membership levels. So when somebody purchases a membership level, they will be enrolled into the course that's associated. So now what we want to do is we want to test this out. We want to make sure that this works. In order to do so, I'm going to go ahead and pop over to another browser. And you'll notice I've got my three levels here. And I'm going to go ahead and select level B. Okay. And then I need to fill out the information here. So Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and check out with PayPal. And I am using the PayPal sandbox. So I've already got this all configured. Um, so it's it's kind of in sandbox mode. And I'll put in my password here. And I'm going to go ahead and click pay now. Okay. So it looks like my transaction was successful and I successfully purchased Level B. And so Level B, if you remember, was associated with Course B. So now if I go back to my other browser um, and I go over to the users area, we should have a new user named Jim who is enrolled into Course B. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna demonstrate the option that we skipped just a little bit earlier in the video. Um, and just to point this out um, before we go to the next step, Right now, we have two users who are associated with level B. So we have the first user here and Jim, Jim's user, uh, both assigned to membership B. They are also both enrolled into course B since that's the associated course. Okay, so now let's go back over to training courses, paid memberships pro. And what I want to do is go into level B here and edit the course access settings. Okay, so now we've got this second option here. So basically the second option here uh, will allow you to retroactively assign a new course 
to your already existing customers. So for instance, course B was associated to level B, but let's just say that I created a brand new course called Extra Course for B. And if I go ahead and select that and just assign it, it, it will allow users who purchase this membership level going forward to both Course B and Extra Course for B. But it will not automatically enroll those who have already purchased Level B. So what this setting does is this allows you to retroactively assign people who have already purchased Level B into the new course. So if we click Save Changes, okay, and if we go back over to our users area, you'll notice both users who were in Level B are now enrolled into Course B and Extra Course for B. So that basically just shows how you can retroactively assign a course based on a membership level that's already been purchased. Okay, well I think that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.